Centre of Precision Health was established at Edith Cowan University in 2021, but what it did was bring together a groups of interdisciplinary and multidisciplinary researchers with a common vision of improving the health and well-being of individuals through improved diagnostic, prognostic and personalised intervention strategies. So we're looking at their genetics, we're looking at their epigenetics, as well as glycomics, proteomics, and bringing together that multi-omic approach to understand the individual that has the disease on top of the disease itself. And we apply that model across uh, three different uh, health priority areas. These are neurological conditions, uh, cancer, and suboptimal on global health, which is a more of a chronic health conditions program. So the neurological condition stream within the Centre for Precision Health has a very strong emphasis and focus on Alzheimer's disease and dementia. So really key to this is genomics uh, and genetic data sets. And a prime example of this is when we've taken um, advanced uh, statistical genetics approaches to understand shared genetics between uh, neurological conditions and their comorbidities, such as Alzheimer's disease and gut disorders. So central and underpinning all of this is the wealth of longitudinal, deeply phenotyped participant information and being able to see how their biology has led to those conditions that they are living with and what's impacting their daily life. And by combining what's important to the individual with their biology, we can actually really bring the precision health model across the neurological conditions. On the 10th of December 2015, I had five brain aneurysms that uh, three burst in my head. It was like that, bang, bang, bang. That was pretty much the last thing I remember. And I woke up in Sir Charles Gardner two days later. Thank God I woke up. I'm very honoured to be a part of their SPIN research team. Being Indigenous, we actually miss out on a lot. and. I want to be a part of it. I want my DNA on the system. So if I ever have another incident or issues with my heart one day, Alzheimer's disease or dementia, they structure personal care that specifically targets the criteria what you're going through and they understand how to help you and support you as that person. That's, that's pretty cool. We used to apply the concept of precision health to improve the tools to prognosticate and to uh, better uh, match the patient's biology and as well as the specificities of the cancer to the treatment so we can get better outcome from the treatment of these patients, especially in the context of a new type of therapy such as immunotherapy as well as targeted therapies. So we apply genetic tools for the sequencing of the tumours, but better than sequencing the tumours, we apply it to what we call liquid biopsies. So we look for circulating tumour DNA in the blood and we also look for circulating tumour cells. We can isolate these cells and sequence each one of them as single cells and find information about the genetics of the tumours. For example, in lung cancer, we identify that patients that have certain alleles within the HLA or they are homozygous, they're less likely to develop immune-related adverse events that inform clinicians that they should treat them more aggressively to be able to obtain a response compared to patients that are heterozygous, which are more likely to be able to respond to single agent immunotherapy that will inform clinicians in that space. And this is something that clinicians are very excited to apply in, in their practice. Looking at biomarkers the way I look at it and precision health is um, will help us understand the biology, the microenvironment of cancer, and will guide us clinician to provide the best care for the uh, patient and improve the quality of life when choosing a treatment for cancer patients. We are looking at other type of cancers, uh, melanoma, ovarian cancer, with a plan to expand the type of uh, cancers that we are exploring targeted therapy for. As a clinician, that is uh, encouraging to have an ongoing exploration of personalised medicine in, in translated in other type of cancers. 
in terms of the predictive, preventive, and precision health, you need a holistic picture for a person. The suboptimal health contains five domains of health, mainly for chronic disease measures. The first one is fatigue. The second one is mental health. Then comes to the immune system. Then the cardiovascular disease system. Then the digestive health system. And it consists of 25 questions to support each other. The chronic disease, for example, diabetes, hypertension, obesity. This is the uh, disease pattern we are focusing on. Now, this tool has been validated in three major ethnic groups, the African, Asian, and the Caucasians. It has been recognized internationally as a, a generic health measure tool for general populations. I believe the standard precision health has built a very strong foundation to become uh, at the cutting edge of precision health um, research by bringing together our unique perspectives from neurological conditions through cancer, through chronic health conditions, and bringing that all together into one research program gives us a unique opportunity to be at the forefront of novel, innovative uh, approaches to personalised healthcare.